In this tutorial, we will learn more about the tools and functions of the equation-based analysis. The equation-based analysis is a powerful function in the SMS Advanced software that can be used to create detailed management layers based on existing data. There are several tools that can be used to build an equation that will fit your unique needs. If you are new to the equation-based analysis tools, we recommend watching the Setting up an Equation-Based Analysis tutorial linked in the Information tab above. If you would like to create multiple results for different products, you can add additional analysis results on the Define Analysis Results page. Add more by either clicking on Add Analysis Result or Copy Analysis Result to duplicate a previous one. This can benefit you by running several different equations for different products. For example, an analysis result could be added for a potash fertilizing prescription and another for a phosphorus fertilizing prescription. Then, when we get to creating our equations, there would be one that we would write for potash and another for phosphorus. Then, when running the analysis, we would have two different maps as a result. In this example, we are creating a planting prescription, so we will select planting prescription as the result operation, corn as the result product, and target rate count as the result attribute. These are detailed in the Setting up an Equation-Based Analysis tutorial. In the lower half of this window, we have the option to define temporary results, which are values that can be referenced in the main equation. There are two types of temporary results. One is a subequation, which is simply an equation that will run first, and then the resulting values will be referenced by another equation. The second type is a prompt, which acts as a placeholder for a value that might fluctuate, so this allows it to be easily changed each time the analysis is run, for example, a yield goal or price. To add a temporary result, select Add. On the next window, enter the name of the result you are creating and a description if needed. Then, select the data type and the type of temporary result you are building, either define using equation, if creating a sub-equation, or prompt for value when the analysis is run to use a prompt. You also have the option to apply minimum and maximum limits and round two values to these results. We are creating the planting prescription based on yield values from grain harvest and zone productivity defined in the management zone layer. Areas of the field with a zone productivity of very low to low will have a reduced target rate compared to those with a zone productivity of medium or high. But we still want to vary the rate based on the previous year's yield as well. And because of this, we will create two sub-equations with low target rates and high target rates. Multiple temporary results may be added, but note that the order of the sub-equations added is important. Let's say you have two sub-equations, A and B. If sub-equation B is referenced in sub-equation A, B needs to be processed first so that the values created can be used in sub-equation A's results. If you need to reorder the result, you can use the black arrows on the right to change the order they appear in. After you have your results defined and temporary results entered, click Next. On the Analysis Input Data Sets window, you will select the data to reference in the equation. We will be referencing grain harvest and management zones. Click Add Data Set and use the data filters to select the data you want to reference and then select Next and then Finish. Click OK. Add any additional data sets you would like to reference and choose Next. The Select Management Item Input window is optional but is used to pull information from product defaults such as when using a recommended product rate value. Click Next. In the Define Result Equation window, we can start building our equations. At the top, we will see the analysis results we defined by each result attribute along with any sub-equations we added. Select the one you would like to define first. We generally recommend starting with any sub-equations so they are easily referenced in the analysis results equations. Select the attribute or properties that you would like to reference from the input data set first by clicking Edit List under Variable and Spatial Functions. Here, we will first select Grain Harvest as the input data set and Yield Dry in the Attribute dropdown, and then select Add. Then, in the input data set, I will select Management Zones. 
in the input data set drop down and zone productivity in the attribute drop down and add it to the right. After those are selected, we can start building the equation. In this example, we are creating a planting prescription based on yield and management zones. We have three result outputs at the top, two sub-equations and the main result. The two sub-equations will be defining different target rate ranges based on yield, one being a lower target rate than the other. The main equation will reference the sub-equations and determine that the sub-equation with the lower target rate will go to the zones with their zone productivity as defined as very low and low, and the zones with zone productivity medium to high will have a higher target rate sub-equation applied. Starting with the sub-equation low zone target rates, we will use the range wizard to define this equation. In the range wizard, we will select yield dry as the variable. There will be two rates that we want to apply, so we will add two ranges. The first will be if the yield is greater than zero, but less than 180 bushels per acre, we want to apply 32,000 seeds per acre. The second range will be if the yield is greater than 180, but less than 500 bushels per acre, we want to apply 34,000 seeds per acre. Select OK. That is our first sub-equation. We are now going to create the second sub-equation with higher target rates. Select the high target rates result at the top, then open the range wizard again. Using the same ranges, we will enter if the yield is less than 180 bushels per acre that we want to apply 33,000 seeds per acre, and if the yield dry is greater than 180 bushels per acre, we want to apply 35,000 seeds per acre. After we have the sub-equations defined, we will be able to reference them in the main equation. If zone productivity is low or very low, then the result will be low zone target rate results. If the zone productivity is medium or high, then the result will be high zone target rates results. After you are finished, verify that the equation is formatted correctly by clicking the validate button. This will ensure that your equation is built correctly. If the equation is valid, select finish and you will return to the analysis types to run window. Select the equation function that we just created under the save equation based analysis functions. Then, select whether you want to run the selected analysis for single or multiple fields. Select the grower, farm, and field and other management information to run the equation against in the Select Data Filters window. Click Next and then Finish. The Analysis Editor window will appear with the resulting equation map. Click Save at the bottom and use the Filter tool to select where it will be saved to in the Management tree. After saving, the analysis result will close. Verify that the output is correct by comparing the data used to create the equation to the resulting layer to make sure that the equation was calculated properly. Now you know how to utilize the tools and functions of the equation-based analysis. If you'd like to see more short tutorials from AgLeader, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.